Welcome back to the channel, and I want to talk today about fertilizer and food for your roses. Uh, there's a few things that roses need just to be vibrant throughout the year and year after year. Uh, sunshine, um, make sure that they get water throughout the growing season, and then they need food, just like any other living organism. And so with roses, I think the number one foundational thing is to give them healthy soil as far as the compost, um, keeping uh, organic matter in there, and just making sure that the soil is good, uh, good drainage, that sort of thing. Um, I think the, a lot of the, the natural elements will keep those roses going well. So I think that's foundational. But on top of that, one of the things I like to do is supplement them with a fertilizer. And there's a couple different brands and different kinds out there that will work. Um, I actually like to go and get the uh, Rose and Flower Care. It's a Bayer product. Um, I'm not sold on the brand necessarily, but uh, typically I'll see that at the wholesale at Costco or wherever. And then um, you can get those at Home Depot or, or uh, Lowe's or wherever else. But uh, it's just been a good product over the over the years for me and typically when it gets to be growing season the flowers are amazing so uh, when you find something that works you kind of don't don't mess up mess with it you don't you don't go away from there so um, I'm gonna walk you through just a few things of how I fertilize the roses I typically start this if you uh, if you watch the other video I had on the channel uh, recently there was a, a pruning video and planting roses transplanting roses that sort of thing so I do that typically in February I like to kind of get my roses set and then in March, I like to go through and give the first fertilize. It's kind of uh, getting to be late winter where I live and uh, just before spring, but all of the roses are coming up. I'm starting to see leaves forming, the buds are bursting, and uh, the plant is alive. So what I like to do is I like to take this stuff and basically get a capful, uh, a light capful. I'll show you in a moment, kind of zoom in and show you what I'm doing, but, and then just kind of like salt and pepper. I like to kind of sprinkle it around the, the base, kind of around, oh, about a foot wide around the rose and then um, just take my hand or a, a shovel and just in the top couple inches just kind of till it in a little bit and then uh, give it a little watering and that is usually typically good for eight nine weeks uh, i think the thing says six to eight weeks i usually go about eight weeks and then i'll uh, sprinkle another batch over there and do that for uh, throughout the throughout the spring summer and then usually in the fall i'll do one maybe around september and then call that good for the uh for the year until the next spring or next late winter. So uh, let me walk you through how I do that. Uh, it's worked for me for many years and I've had some amazing roses. Uh, there might be some videos you can look back on the channel. I'll definitely have some more coming up, uh, kind of showing you some of the things about the roses. And uh, I think this is one of those essential elements that really helps the roses to thrive. So uh, let me start by, uh, I'll kind of zoom in, let you show, you show you what I'm doing and then give you a couple of final tips before we wrap this up. All right, so as I mentioned, I like to use the Bayer 2-in-1 rose, rose feed, and that's uh, so a rose and flower care. And I basically just fill this thing, um, as you can see here, kind of level with that inside lip. Uh, it's probably about a quarter to half a cup, and this will do one of my uh, healthy rose bushes and uh, mix that in. So let me show you how I do that. Generally, I just kind of sprinkle it about a foot out, just around the base. Might do a couple passes. I don't want, I want to avoid really stacking it right in here by the, the root, or uh, by the uh, root stock. I'm just kind of, as you can see. And uh, that one's good to go. So again, I'm gonna go and take, I'm gonna take the rose and flower feed Kind of fill it up level. Just kind of sprinkle that around. I want to use gloves. Ow, there's a thorn. <laughs> that should be good for about eight weeks. So as mentioned, wear gloves. All right. Just take my half cup or so. Kind of sprinkle it around the base. Just lightly fluff up the soil. And then I'll come through here and just give a light watering. Uh, but I actually got a rain coming in tonight, so uh, I'm not gonna need a water right now. But uh, 
normally if I didn't have rain coming in, I would uh, give it a light water rain, just kind of get that soil moist. But this should be good to go for the next eight weeks as the roses kick into growth. Alright, so nothing real fancy, but uh, this stuff is also good for other kind of flowers. So uh, you can read the label on there, but I'll typically use this on several flowers that I have around the, the garden bed in the spring just to give them my initial fertilizing. So um, this is a, just a extra supplement. I think the roses would do okay if you have good soil, um, but it just seems to be kind of the secret sauce of getting my roses really vibrant every year and uh, kind of take care of those. So try it out. Let me know what you think. Put something in the comments if you have any questions uh, or if you have other things that you try and use. But uh, hopefully this was helpful. Take care.